Um, had the assassin's bullet been very slightly to the one side, uh, not only would we have had an assassination of a former president and a running uh, um, candidate on live television, uh, but the Republican Party, the Democrats, America as a whole, and therefore the world, could easily have fallen into an absolute pit of recrimination, retribution, and much more. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you are feeling good. Today we'll be checking out a video titled Something of Strange. Douglas Murray reviews horrifying details on Trump assassination. Wow. I believe this is going to be an eye opener. Let's check it out. Go. Joining me now is author of international bestsellers, including The Strange Death of Europe, The Madness of Crowds, and his latest book, The War on the West, Douglas Murray. Douglas, thank you so much for joining us as always. Now, you wrote that the attack on Donald Trump is reminiscent of the shootings of Ronald Reagan and Teddy Roosevelt. What did you take away from what occurred in Pennsylvania at the weekend? Well, like most people, uh, I watched with horror uh, in real time as it was happening. And uh, it was reminded again, as all of us have been, of that terrible way in which history can turn on a few millimeters, uh, as in this case, as in uh, attempts to assassinate previous presidents of the United States. Uh, I still think that in some ways, because everyone's moving on to the political significance of this, there still isn't quite enough of a registering of how close America came to a situation that is almost unthinkable. Um, had the assassin's bullet been very slightly to the one side, uh, not only would we have had an assassination of a former president and a running uh, um, candidate on live television, uh, but the Republican Party, the Democrats, America as a whole, and therefore the world, could easily have fallen into an absolute pit of recrimination, retribution, and much more. Uh, you know, history really does turn on such moments. And, um, you know, thank goodness on this occasion, things are going in a better direction than they might have done. Murray begins by capturing the universal shock and horror we all felt watching the events unfold in Pennsylvania. It was a grim reminder of how history can pivot on the tiniest of margins, mere millimetres deciding the fate of nations. Just as Reagan and Roosevelt's lives hung by a thread in their respective assassination attempts, Trump's narrow escape brought back those haunting memories. The significance of this event cannot be overstated, yet it feels as though the public and media have quickly shifted focus to the political ramifications, missing the broader existential threat such an attack represents. What Murray hammers home is the sheer proximity to an unfathomable crisis. Imagine the chaos if that bullet had struck true. A former president, a current candidate, gunned down live on television. The immediate aftermath would have plunged the Republican Party, the Democratic Party, and indeed, the entire United States into a vortex of blame, revenge, and unprecedented turmoil. The ripple effects would have been global, shaking the very foundations of democratic stability and trust. Murray doesn't mince words when he speaks of the absolute pit of recrimination that America narrowly avoided. This isn't hyperbole. It's a stark reality that underscores the fragility of our political system and the intense polarization that has rendered such violence almost predictable. This attack wasn't just an assault on Trump, it was an assault on the entire democratic process, an act that could have sparked a catastrophic sequence of events. Furthermore, Murray's analysis touches on the immediate political pivot, where the conversation swiftly moved from the horror of the attack to its implications for the upcoming elections. It's a sad indictment of our current state of affairs that the sanctity of life and the gravity of an assassination attempt are almost immediately overshadowed by partisan bickering and strategizing. This, Murray suggests, is a symptom of a deeper malaise a society more concerned with scoring political points than addressing the profound threats it faces. Murray's words serve as a sobering reminder of the knife edge on which history balances. The attack on Trump in Pennsylvania wasn't just a headline, it was a near miss with disastrous potential. It highlighted the vulnerability of our political leaders and the thin veneer of stability that keeps our society from descending into chaos. As we move forward, it's crucial to not just brush past these events as mere political theatre, but to recognise them as the profound dangers they are. 
Murray's piercing insights compel us to reflect on how close we came to disaster and to remain vigilant against the forces that seek to exploit our divisions. Thank goodness this time, the bullet missed. But will we be so lucky next time? What are your views on that? Please comment below. Wow. What an interesting video. What an interesting compilation. We all understand. We know how Douglas is someone that is very articulated. He's always ready to say the truth. Always stand by the truth. He's not afraid to say the truth. And believe me, anytime I listen to Douglas, I always learn one thing or the other just by listening to him. And I'm really glad that uh, the assassination, the assassination on Trump didn't really go well. And thank God Trump is still alive. God knows what would have happened if the bullet, uh, uh, were to eat him in some place that it would be very difficult for him to survive. But we thank God Trump is still alive. So this really shows that a lot, a, a, a more, more effort should be put in the secure, more effort should be, uh, placed in the security of presidential candidates because a lot of people are going to try you know to do anything just to gain advantage in the election and i'm very glad that the assassination didn't go away as planned just what douglas have stated in this video so i also love to hear your comments regarding the fact and the points douglas have stated keep the comments coming don't forget click on the subscribe button click on the like button do have a nice day